Hey fellas. Okay, uh, this is an Oldsmobile 350 that we're putting back into service. And it's had a cam change, a lot of freshening up, and we're calling it the Junkyard Dog. The reason I started the video with the engine running is because we're not really here to talk about this running stand today that I use, uh, or this engine in particular. Um, I want to talk about uh, some basic hot rod modifications that uh, 50 years ago the factory and the hot rod community kind of took for granted that everybody knew about and would, would do as a, a fairly early step in the process of seeking after more power. But uh, in the time since then, um, I don't hear too much talk about anymore. Um, so uh, today we're going to we're going to remind you fellas of, of some knowledge that seems to be getting lost and specifically about intake manifold uh, modifications that we've done to this engine and that we seem to be doing uh, pretty frequently here in the shop. Okay. So uh, after we show you those, there's three stages. Uh, I'm going to talk a little theory. And uh, for those who, who aren't into that kind of thing, you can stop listening in a few minutes. Uh, but I'm going to wrap it up by talking about carburetor selection, um, which is also something that needs to be matched to these modifications, or they don't work very well. Okay, and that seems to be half of the equation that gets lost as well. All right, um, I want to say a few words first uh, about you know whenever you whenever you seek to modify your car and you're talking to a parts guy, for example, on the phone or uh, a shop manager or somebody who builds engines and builds cars um, they always ask you what is it that you you want to do with the car what are your goals and everybody of course wants a faster car but but do you want a race car do you want a car that's street and strip do you just want a strictly uh, street car that's got more performance uh, than, than it currently has or do you want something that has to be reliable transportation? I mean, there's four different animals there that I'm describing. And they're not asking you this um, for no reason. Um, everything that you change about an engine, for example, or a vehicle in general, is going to be some kind of compromise, and you're going to be trading off one thing for another. A great example is an exhaust header, right, real quickly. We're talking about intake manifolds today. But I'll say a few words about exhaust. That's the other side of the system. Now you can see what I have here on my engine break-in stand is a stock Oldsmobile 70s vintage single exhaust. It's got a crossover pipe from the other side, the other exhaust manifold, which is cast iron, into this one. And they both exhaust into a, a larger pipe that goes to the back of the car through the muffler system. Now... Most hot rodders will tell you this is a pretty inefficient system and not to use it and to go for an exhaust header like the one I have here on the ground. Well, you can see that's quite a different type of system, right? Um, almost common sense will tell you that this one is going to make more power, right? What it won't tell you is that, in fact, if you have a pure street car, Something like this below about 2,000 RPMs is going to lose you power, uh, specifically torque, and that's in the range where you're going to be driving it quite a bit.